In this video, I will show you how to create date picker as shown in the emulator, where you can select a date. For example, I selected 2nd of April, and when I click on OK, I can retrieve the selected date and display in the app. Now let's dive into the code. So here I have created a string variable to store the selected date, and by default, it's empty string. Now in my body widget, I have created an elevated button to open the date picker and a text widget to display the selected date. So now let's create the show date picker function. Show date picker function in Flutter is an asynchronized operation. So it will return a future type. Since we don't have to return anything, I will set it to future void. The date return from the date picker is in date time format, which I will create a date time type variable to store the returned value. Next is executing show date picker function. This function requires a build context, first date and last date. Both first date and last date are in date time types. So I will set the first date to year 2000 and the last date to year 2050. Next, we have to set the initial date to datetime.now so that when you open the date picker, it's focused on today's date. Now we have completed the show date picker function. As of now, whenever select date function is executed, it will call the show date picker function and store the selected date into the underscore selected variable. The next thing that we have to do is to update the selected date to the string variable that we have created earlier. So firstly, we have to check if the underscore selected variable is not null. Then I will call the setState method to update the string variable value. Now we have completed the select date function. Let's add this function into the elevated button on press. Now let's try it out in the emulator. So as you can see, when I click on the elevated button, a date picker is displayed and the initial date is focused. This date picker provides flexibility on changing different months and year easily. And you can see that the first date available is from year 2000, and the last date available to pick is to year 2050, as we said it in the function code just now. So now I will randomly pick a date. For example, I select 5th of June, and when I click on OK, my selected date is retrieved and displayed in the app. In conclusion, this is how you create date picker in your Flutter app. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.